bitch, I'm on the line. Yeah. I'm in traffic with these poles, yelling, free my bro, these rolls. Put this 40 to your nose, mark his face just like a mole. These niggas. Hey guys, Swift Guy here, and today we are going to be playing some Skywars, we're just going to be talking about some stuff I've been thinking about the um, past few days, and uh, mostly just today, though. If you guys didn't know, I Smash is a helper on the Hypixel network, and um, he's mainly known for playing Megawalls and being the leader of the guild Abstract, also Megawalls guild. You know, he has decent stats in the game. Most of you probably know him as, like, one of the only uh, staff members that actually plays Megawalls nowadays. Um, and today he made a forums post basically saying that he's going to be resigning soon just thanking everybody for their support throughout his 11 months of being a staff member um, if you want to read the full post it's it will be linked in the description below but anyways I think it's very sad to see that he's resigning due to many different reasons obviously that I'm not going to talk about but Yeah, now that well, he's not he hasn't resigned yet. But once he is no longer a staff member, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to look like for Mega Walls because as you guys may or may not know, like almost no staff play Mega Walls anymore. And pretty much the only staff that did play Mega Walls was Ginger and I Smash. And Ginger recently got demoted and now I Smash is resigning. So essentially, there's not going to be any staff playing Mega Walls on a regular basis, I would say. I play Mega Walls quite a bit, probably more than, you know, healthy, obviously. But I, like, almost never see a staff member. It's very rare. If you guys know a lot of the staff, like, in general, out of like 120 now, they don't play Mega Walls. Like, if you look at their stats, you can tell. And, um,. They're not very experienced with the game, I'd say. Oh, one person, uh, like when the update came out, they got banned because they used Werewolf's Jump Boost Potion and the staff member thought they were cheating. You know, 10 out of 10 staff right there. And if you guys have been watching my recent Cheater Exposed videos, you can tell by my reports that the staff who respond never seem to understand what a cheater is. So I feel like it's gonna be even harder to get a hold of staff that um, will actually respond to you. I Smash, you might know that he was very keen at replying to everybody. You know, he would reply to people and he would always try to help uh, get a moderator and stuff like that. You know, obviously that doesn't always happen, but uh, you know, he always did try to help. And uh, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be because they recently did promote like 20 new moderators, I believe. So they can obviously help with B hoppers and people who are like you know, just going around bl blatantly cheating like that. But the problem is that I took leisurely pleasure of myself and uh, looked through all of the pl their plan cakes, their stat statistics of all of the new moderators, and only three of them have uh, more than like 400 wins and like a thousand finals. Only three. And out of their, based on their statistics, uh, some only update since the update, I can say that at least two out of three of them don't play on a regular basis. The third one probably doesn't play very much at all. So that's not very helpful because, you know, they, I'm not entirely sure how experienced or good they are with the game, but you know, they have some statistics and they're not playing the game uh, on a regular basis. And obviously none of the other staff are going to be experienced with the game if they, you know, haven't played it and have like a one final KDR. So yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult, I feel at least, to get people banned that are cheating. And I'm not entirely sure how big of an effect this is of I Smash resigning. I might be making it out to be something bigger than it actually is, but I feel like it might have a big effect depending on how the other staff react and how the how helpful they will be in game. Because I know, like, if I ever needed help, just instantly contact I Smash, you know, and he'd get someone just got banned in my game. Okay, good job, Watchdog. Um, you know, he'd get a moderator almost immediately for me to get them banned. But with the other staff, you know, they don't always reply and they say they're busy or something like that, you know, the usual. Not entirely sure how this is going to affect in the long run of Mega Walls, but I feel like had I Smash become a mod, uh, it would have been more helpful than him resigning, obviously. But yeah, that's what I think about that topic. If you guys have any opinions, opposing or not, just let me know what you think in the, the comments and I'll make sure to reply. So we can just have a, a nice conversation about this because I want to know what you guys think. But anyways, another thing I was thinking about was basically the idea of a ranking system. So as you guys might know, 
I make the Hypixel Cheater Exposed series on many closet cheaters that don't get banned by the staff for many obvious reasons. And so I have to make those videos with like gobs of proof and clearly showing them cheating just to get them banned. And those actually take quite a long time, not only to um, find them all the time, but try and fight and kill them, like get clips and then spectating them like non-stop throughout the game. That also is very time consuming. And it's difficult because you don't always know where they're at and you have to go around trying to find them and it's like too much detective work and not enough per se recording them. And I feel like with this ranking system, basically what it would do is people that are good at identifying closet cheaters and such would be able to earn their basically um, perks and like commands that they could use similar to what a mod might have, but not exactly the same obviously. Basically so that they could, you know, maybe teleport to a player and spectate them without like other people being able to see them. Like they could specifically just TP to a player. Another thing I thought of was being able to disguise himself just for that player, not to everybody else, but just for that player so that they could fight them without them thinking, knowing there's them and knowing that they're being recorded. Because as you guys may know, requirements to become a staff are very, very strict. You know, you got the age of 16, you've got, you know, all the, you're not supposed to have infractions and mutes and you're supposed to be all good and like handle situations well and all that. And it's less about the experience and it's more focused on being friendly environment instead of um, adept at being good at catching cheaters and uh, doing that. So that leads to obviously a lot of inexperienced mod. And one of the ideas proposed by Piana was to create just a, a team of experienced players that could identify cheaters and um, they would go around and do that and not do like other moderator duties, but they'd do just that. You know, I'm not entirely sure how they reacted to that. The staff, they didn't actually reply to the thread. I don't feel like they um, would do something like that because obviously they have concerns that um, it might be abused and that they would false ban people because apparently that corresponds with being toxic. If you're toxic, you'll false ban people, like uh, just for other reasons and you'll abuse your powers. And they don't seem keen to do that, but like at least make it so it's easier for people like me at least to record these cheaters and get them banned. Make it easier for to communicate between me and the staff team and others. So it isn't like this constant um, constant having to like go after the staff all the time, make forum threads and make videos and like DM and Lucky Cassie all the time, but it'd just be a lot easier to communicate and you know we'd be a lot more transparent because they're very opaque about everything and it, it really bothers me and it bothers just, like a lot of other people. And I feel like if this would be set in place you know, there'd at least be some moving forward, some progress in helping get rid of at least closet cheaters because Watchdog is currently not able to do that. Yeah, and I feel like this could be a huge step forward if this was negotiated and something like this was added. But um, if you guys have any opinions or suggestions or feedback on any of this, make sure to comment down below. Tell me what you think about either the Ice Smash situation, my idea, or anything basically that you uh, want to talk about. And uh, let's just have a nice conversation. I want to know what you guys think. So um, just comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a rating and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.